Welcome to the Practical Tips channel. The topic of this video is towing your car. Should you do it? If so, how? What is the best way to do it? If you like this video and you find the content useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Here's a picture of someone towing a car with a tow strap. Should you do this? Do you think it's a good idea? Is it safe? Let's dig a little deeper. Toe straps can stretch and they can break. When damaged, they become unsafe to use and you may not always see the damage. Chains are a better option because they don't stretch and they usually don't break. However, is it really the best idea to tow a car on the ground, especially on all four wheels? Well, actually, no. The simple fact is, is that, of course, normally your car has the power going from the engine through the transmission, and it goes to a final set of gears we call the final drive. When the car is being towed on all four wheels on the ground, the engine's not running, and of course, normally you'd put it in neutral, the process mechanically is running in reverse. So the drive wheels are being turned, but the turning force is going backwards through the system, through all these parts, up to the transmission and turning it backwards. This can do damage to the transmission and because it's not intended to operate that way. And so you don't want to do that damage to your car. So the best thing to do is never to tow it with all four wheels on the ground. So what then should you do? Well, here's a better option. Tow the car on a flatbed trailer. Now in this picture, you can see that this car is secured at each wheel. Each wheel is tied down and the car is really not going to go anywhere. The trailer in this case looks like it's adequate for the job because it has three axles. So its weight capacity that the trailer can support is probably more than what the car weighs that's on it. Now, ultimately calling a professional tow truck is still your best option. Towing a car takes a lot of skills. Even if you have a trailer, you should know how to drive the vehicle pulling the trailer. Okay. You should know how to drive it with the trailer attached. You need to know how to hook up the lights and all the features on the trailer. The trailer brakes need to work and you should have some experience doing this. Okay. Otherwise it can be risky and downright hazardous and not just for you or the car you're towing, but also for traffic around you. So a lot of times the best thing to do is simply call a professional tow truck. And it's especially if you're, have a situation where your car is broken down, you're stuck on the side of the road, and you need to get going again. If you put a, if you get a tow truck with a real professional, you stay safe and the car shouldn't be damaged. Now, you should understand that there are two types of tow trucks operating these days. The first one is an older style. It's called the wheel lift, as illustrated in this photo. It's an older style of tow truck and it only lifts two wheels off the ground. And as you can see here, this car obviously has front drive because the front two wheels are off the ground. So the two rear wheels and back, it shouldn't pose any problems. Now, there is one condition where you might have a little trouble with doing something like this. And that is if your car has four wheel drive. Okay, in the case of four wheel drive, you have two final drive units, two sets of final drive gears that are going to be connected to the transmission some way. And of course, then that means that this method of using a wheel lift truck is just not going to work in the case of a four wheel drive car because you can't tow with all the drive wheels off the ground. No matter what you do, two drive wheels will still be on the ground, front or rear. So that's not going to work for you if your car has four-wheel drive. So again, the best solution 
is to tow on a flatbed, in this case, the second type of truck, a tow truck with a flatbed. In this case, the entire car is carried on the back of the truck and the car is held in place with chains. Okay. This is by far the safest way. Uh, it's usually pretty uh, quick and convenient and it works well and you can get your vehicle to where it needs to go without any other damage or worries and ultimately the outcome is just better for everybody involved. Now, for those people who are saying, well, I don't know, I, I'm not sure I can afford to do that. I've got an older car, it's high mileage, it's done okay so far, but I just, I don't know when something might happen to it. Okay, if you're worried about that, then what I suggest is try, first of all, to look at your car insurance and check and see if they have the option for having tow coverage added to your policy. Usually it's just a few dollars a month, four, maybe five dollars a month, and you can have that added onto your policy. You pay that little bit of extra premium, and then you have a little more peace of mind that should something happen, you can have your tar, have the car towed, and you're good. Tow truck will come and, and you're okay. Some policies might go a little further and have roadside assistance coverage. So maybe the truck will come out, maybe say you don't need a tow, but maybe you need somebody to change a flat tire, charge a battery, bring you a little extra gas. They may do that, okay? Could be something that's covered. Check with your insurance company to find out what they offer. If you're not satisfied with that, or you think they're maybe the, the uh, extra premium they wanna charge is a little too high, then check around with your auto clubs. Okay, you have organizations like AAA and others out there. There's some companies that just offer the roadside assistance coverage and usually you'll get a package and they'll they'll come and you know they'll help you out. They'll do different things. They can maybe do a little troubleshooting, they can tow the car, they can change a flat tire, they can uh, you know help you with a battery problem, this sort of thing. So shop around and see if you can get that coverage in that way when you're since you're already you know paying for it with this either on your car insurance or on some other kind of subscription you're already covered and when a problem does arise you know you have a way to deal with it and you don't necessarily have the extra stress about it because it's like well I've already paid for this so I can get it taken care of so remember your best bet if you have to tow your own car use a chain don't tow it on all four wheels and preferably call a professional and have them pick up your car with a flatbed tow truck you will find that these are uh, by the way the more common type of tow truck generally especially in most of your major uh, metro areas across the united states the flatbed tow truck has become uh, quite popular and it's really kind of the, the current standard. So if you found this video useful and helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.